hi guys here in this video i am going to show you how to enable or install dotnet framework 2.0 and 3.5 in windows 10 and for that you need your uh, windows disk your windows bootable disk or your windows bootable usb in my case i am having my windows file windows 10 file on my bootable usb so here i am going to plug in my bootable usb right now i, I, I have not plugged in so now i plugged my usb to my pc and here you can see this is my usb having my having the windows 10 files and this usb is in bootable format you can see here is the setup for windows 10 now i am closing it so in you in uh, you have to plug in or you have to insert your dvd your bootable dvd of windows 10 to your system and after that we are going to run a dos command open command prompt with administrative rights here i open command prompt with administrative rights and here i am going to run a dos command that is right here dism disk now space then slash online o n l i n e then again space slash enable e n a b l e dash feature f e a t u r e then again space then slash f e a feature f e a t u r e n a m e name feature name then colon net f x 3 n e t f x 3 then again space slash all a double l then again space source s o u r c e then colon and now here you need to write your bootable drive or your bootable usb uh, drive later in my case here it is f so here i am writing f in your case it may be different so write here your bootable drive or your bootable usb drive later now here i wrote here f then colon then again slash sources s o u r c e s sources dot s x s then again space now sources slash s x s then again space and now slash limit access l i m i t a double c e double s limit access and now press enter now i am waiting for the installation process it will begin after some time so here i am waiting for the installation process of dotnet framework 2.0 and 3.5 and now the process has been started it will take some time so you need to keep patience The installation process is on the way now it is 20 percent has been completed the operation completed successfully now Dotnet framework 2.0 and 3.5 are now installed on my PC and here now I am going to our step 2 just we need to enable the dotnet framework so for that here you need to write in the search bar app this awpwiz.cpl so here I, I run command appwiz.cpl and now click on turn windows features on or off and here is dotnet framework 3.5 includes dotnet 2.0 and 3.0 check on both on both the check boxes and click on ok now it is searching for the required files files are already installed just it will enable so now it got the files and now the changes are being made Yeah. 
here it is done windows completed requested changes so now click on restart now restart your system if you like our video please share it subscribe it to help others